a movement that seems to be growing in numbers, called the Hebrew Roots Movement, holds the stance that Christians should follow the Old Testament ordinances for a better understanding of the Bible. Their beliefs typically consist of keeping Sabbath, kosher dietary restrictions, in-depth studies in Hebrew, partaking in Jewish celebrations, and other requirements. Now, this is not anything new, as we can see within such examples as the Pauline epistles where strict adherence to the Mosaic Law is, yes, discouraged, as we live under a New Testament. Let's turn to Matthew 5 for one of their proof texts. Matthew 5 verse 17 to 19. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now we can see that Jesus did not say, Stop obeying the Torah, I am here. But instead said, One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. I will be bringing up three passages back to back to show what this really means for us today. Luke 24 verses 44 to 47 And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets and in the Psalms, concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Hebrews 8 verse 13 in that he saith, A new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. Hebrews 9 verse 14 to 17 How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is of force after men are dead, Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. When Jesus died on the cross, so did the Old Testament come to an end. As Jesus had fulfilled the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Old Testament scriptures, and is the testator of the new that is now in effect through his blood. As this is by no means an exhaustive post, the Old Testament had its place with the Jewish people for distinction. The intentions of moving away from a pagan Christianity are indeed virtuous, but are misplaced in Hebrew roots.